Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. Forgive me in advance if I seem extra happy today. That is mainly because it's pouring with rain. Like it's pouring, it's been raining all day and I'm so, I don't think I've felt this happy in months. I feel like I haven't seen rain since January. That is how it feels because it's been so hot and I woke up at three o'clock this morning to a major thunderstorm and such torrential rain. I wanted to go out and lay in it, but it was 3am and I, I didn't want the neighbours to talk. Anyway, <laughs> there are four videos left in my ocean themed, water themed video series and I hope you're really loving them. This one is one of those videos that I like, didn't like, really enjoyed it, didn't enjoy it, was going to post it anyway, but knew I wouldn't like the results and ended up loving the results. So I hope you do too and we are using bubble wrap in resin. Enjoy! So I will be using my absolute favourite go-to coaster mould in this video and this is the Round Coaster Mould by Moulds and Shapes. Now you can get 5% off at the checkout at Moulds and Shapes using my code CCC5 and the details will be down below. I'm also using some bubble wrap. Now I never actually had any bubble wrap but I found this in a package so it is a little bit beaten and a little bit bruised. If you want super quality bubble wrap you might have to buy some instead of using leftovers like I have here. Now the resin I'm using in this video is Vista Turbo. This is their fast curing resin. Cures in around five to six hours and I'm going to be able to pour the second layer. So that information for that code will also be in the description box below. Now I've had a few questions on the Vista code. The Vista code will give you quadruple miles on your order. Every time you order with Vista you are allocated I guess like points but they call it miles. So if you use my code you will quadruple your miles that you earn in that order. Now it is only available to people who have an account with Vista and also it is a one-time use only so use it wisely when you you know when you go in for that big order use the code then because then you'll get quadruple miles on the biggest possible order anyway I did use my heat tool to just blast this resin to get rid of as many air bubbles as possible because it, again it's Vista Turbo so it does hold more air bubbles than the resins that take a solid 24 hours to cure. And I'm just laying my bubble wrap down. Now the bubbles are going down into the resin. The the bubbles, the balls, the balls, what's the word? It's bubble down. So the top is flat and the bubbles are going down into the resin. And I'm just literally sitting them in and pressing down a little bit, but not too much. So this was about six hours later. Now. This is where I, I, I felt the trauma of the cling film technique come back to haunt me because trying to get this off the resin really reminded me of cling film. Now it did come away a lot easier than cling film but it still left whole chunks of bubble wrap trapped in the resin and I don't know what happened on this one. I missed it completely. Honestly, even watching the video back, I don't understand how. I got like a completely clean and neat edge there. I obviously did not press it down as much as I thought I did. But yeah, the struggle here, it wasn't massive. It wasn't it wasn't as bad as the cling film struggle, but the struggle was real. Trying to yank this bubble wrap out of the resin. And again, we're coming back to that same age old problem that when you're using anything in resin like this, you're pushing the resin out over the sides and that creates mess. The edges on these, honestly, this is, uh, if I could just like pick apart one thing about this kind of technique, it's the edges. I hate the edges when you're using cling film or polyurethane technique, which I tend to do mostly. And now the bubble wrap technique, it's just made the edges super messy. We are using, can you guess? <laughs> can you guess what we're using? We are using my absolute favorite chameleon powders. These are the Let's Resin Chameleon Powders. Now, instead of going with blue, like I have done in so many videos, we, we have kind of learned, or at least I feel like I have learned that the blue is the less, the least color shifting powder. Out of all of their chameleons, the blue is the least color shift in. So I decided to use some teal. Now the teal is, oh my gosh, gorgeous. It really is a stunning color. You can see me, you can see me here 
picking out some of that bubble wrap because when you brush the powders over you can hear it you can hear that there's bubble wrap trapped in here and it was at this point I'd already made my mind up that I did not like this and I probably will not repeat it anyway we are using the teal like I said the teal powder I decided to do in lines and I decided to add it alongside the blue so we had like this stripey effect where it went teal blue teal blue and that is pretty much how I decided to do the whole thing. Now I will say the other thing I found is getting the powder into every single one of these pockets was quite time consuming. So it's not, it's nothing like when you are dusting over the polyurethane technique or the cling film technique. The powder goes on quite smoothly and you can kind of get it, you can cover a wider surface area faster. But because I've got all of these teeny tiny pocket details, it definitely took more time to cover them in the chameleon powder. But, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> it's not It's not something that I would say should put you off from trying it. It's just to let you know these are the findings from me trying it out. And yeah, so I just carried on with the teal and then I swapped it for the blue. As soon as I added the blue, I thought, you know, these two colours complement each other so, so much. And even before knowing what this was going to look like, knowing what the results were going to be, I was already getting mermaid vibes from these colours because they were so beautiful together. And I just did my best to blend as much as possible without having like harsh lines where the colours met each other. I didn't want them to be really kind of harsh lines. And yeah, I was really feeling these colours together. And you can see me here, the struggles, the struggles getting the bubble wrap out. Now, this is where I was saying at the beginning of the video, my bubble wrap was a little bit busted up. It, 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 it had seen better days. You know, it had been in this box, in this package for literally months. So yes, hindsight is a wonderful thing. If I were to try this again, I don't think I would go out of my way to buy a top quality bubble wrap. There's bubble wrap and then there's bubble wrap. Do you know what I mean? I would hazard a guess that this is the kind of bubble wrap I would usually buy, like the cheaper version of. You can buy a really expensive bubble wrap where all of the bubbles are fully formed and intact. <laughs> and I think that is why a lot of my bubble wrap got stuck in my resin. But hey ho it is like I said it's a, it's a learning journey and it, it was fun at the time and we're all here together to learn about the pros and cons of using the bubble wrap in resin so I'm just gonna carry on continue filling these up and we'll come back once I had dusted all four coasters it was time to fill them up now again I'm using Vista Turbo because this allows me to do the whole project inside one day which is really really great. I'm using the Vista Colours range, the black pigment. Again I know I'm a Vista ambassador but I don't get cash in my bank. I don't get cash in my bank to let you know that this is a stunning black pigment. This is a beautiful liquid black and when I tell you it blends so beautifully with the resin, I have used other black pigments on my channel in the past and they're more of a paste. And sometimes when you get a paste, it doesn't quite mix as well. Whereas this is already a liquid and it goes in like a dream, mixes like a dream and pours like a dream. Now I am going really, really slowly when I'm pouring this because I'm very aware that all of these little dimples, all of these little crevices, might not fill up like th there might be air bubbles if I pour too fast it might just skip over the bubbles and just leave huge air pockets down underneath I'm not sure that would really impact the overall finish of the piece anyway because they're covered in chameleon so you might not even really know but look at this look at the edges oh I hate it <laughs> Honestly, my biggest bugbear is these edges. But this is the next morning, time to demold. And of course, Molds and Shapes mold, as always, stunning. They came away like a dream. And you might be able to tell I was not feeling this project. I wanted to try it, but I wasn't feeling it. It felt like a chore until I turned them over. The minute I turned them over, my mind was completely changed fully expected not to like them and then when I saw these I absolutely 
fell in love straight away. I was, I literally said, ooh, ooh, okay, they're really nice. Now, we can forgive the collapsed bubble wrap, the bubble wrap that had obviously been in many a package. The bubble wrap had completely and utterly collapsed in on itself. It did not stand up to being pressed in the resin. Now, again, if you've tried this technique, let me know if you've got different results, but straight away I saw mermaid tails, I saw mermaid scales, fish scales kind of vibe, which lent itself very much to the ocean themed projects that I've been doing lately. The colors are incredible together, the teal and the blue. You can see the teal kind of color shifts to a greeny brown and then the blue does color shift to purple but working together I thought they were absolutely beautiful apart from this one here I don't know what happened there <laughs> well we all know what happened there I didn't do it properly look at this I've zoomed right in so you can not only see the collapsed bubble wrap but look at all these pockets of air thousands of, okay maybe hundreds okay I'm a Leo I exaggerate hundreds of miniature pockets of air how beautiful do they look now we always hate air we never really want air pockets in our polyurethane technique but in this they work they look like pearls they look like miniature pearly balls of yumminess <laughs> but I really surprised myself with this project because I was ready to dislike it I was still going to share my findings and talk about the pros and cons of using the bubble wrap I was still going to share the video regardless but the minute I turned them over I genuinely saw mermaid tails and I loved them instantly and I am so so happy I chose to use two completely different colours in each one because I think if I just used one colour it wouldn't have given me the same level of satisfaction. Now those pesky edges that I so dislike. <laughs> It's just part and parcel of doing this kind of resin technique that you get these really crispy, awful edges. You can either use your craft blade to carve them off or because this is the next day and it's not 100% solid, like it's solid, but it's not solid, solid. I'm able to just go around with my scissors and trim off the excess. And I'm really happy. I am so, so happy I tried it. Honestly, really really happy let me know your thoughts let me know if you've tried it and if you have not already hit that subscribe button please hit that subscribe button it is free guys and i'm so close to seventy thousand. what i say i'm so close i'm you know i'm closer to 70 than i am to you know 50. <laughs> i hope you've really really enjoyed this one and they're definitely ocean themed tell me how you would finish them off would you put some cricket detail on there or would you leave them as is they will be finished off with either rubber dot feet or cork bases probably cork bases because the underneaths aren't that pretty they're just a little bit messy with the floating powders and things like that but really really enjoyed it would I do it again no I would not do this again I wouldn't do it again purely because it reminded me way too much of the cling film technique and honestly I just don't have time for that low energy <laughs> like it actually made me low I was like what have I done it's cling film trauma all over again but I'm glad I tried it I'm glad I've put it out there maybe you know never say never maybe if I had a top quality bubble wrap I'd like to see how that looks but even though it's collapsed <laughs> I still think it looks absolutely gorgeous I hope you agree I will see you all in the next video bye Thank you.